All right, what's up, guys? Taylor here on Wednesday the 20th. And we had the honor and the pleasure of hearing from the Fed today. And the market responded in a pretty bullish fashion. Imagine my surprise. So that's all pretty good here for my futures trade. Got a couple contracts on the micro NQ. And then jumping over to the squeeze board. Got a lot of squeezes setting up. On the indices, we have a two-day squeeze on IWM, QQQ, and the Dow Jones. For daily squeezes, we got the IWM, QQQ, the Dow, and the S&Ps. And then we got a handful of four-hour squeezes here. QQQ, Dow Jones, the Spiders, and the RSP. So taking a look here at the S&Ps. There we go. Everything's pointing towards more upside. If I've learned one thing over the years, you don't want to fight the squeeze. We might be in a bull market. We might be in a bear market. We might be overbought. We might be oversold. Don't fight the squeeze. So we got day one of a brand new squeeze here. And that blue arrow is a slingshot signal. Little break in momentum. The structure is perfect. Momentum turning back towards zero. Pretty good indication that squeeze wants to fire to the upside. And then down on the 4-hour time frame, we're getting a pretty big move here from that 4-hour slingshot squeeze. Check the big 3 signals, and we got buy signals on the 2-hour, 1-hour, 30-minute, 15-minute, and the 5-minute. So that all looks good for further upside. And then on the QQQ, 4-hour slingshot squeeze. We've got that daily squeeze setting up, and that also has the slingshot signal. And then we got some buy signals on the 1 hour, 30, 15, and the 5. I think, if anything, that should open the door for push up here towards 450-ish. And being that I'm long the NQ, I would not mind that. And then on the stock side of things, let me get my money makers watch list. All right, the other uh, big boys. <sighs> Daily squeezes in Amazon, Meta, and Netflix. We had one in Microsoft. It fired to the upside. And then we got a four-hour squeeze on Amazon, Meta, Netflix, BAC, and NVIDIA. So as far as Microsoft goes, we opened up some trades here yesterday. We bought the April expiration 435 call. And as that squeeze fires, it's looking pretty solid. Trades above the ATR trending stop. The structure is bullish. The big three is bullish. And we got a perfect 12 out of 12 on the big three score. What I'm looking for for Microsoft, I want to try to catch a push towards 430, 435-ish. From there, given the fact we have a two-day squeeze, there's a chance that they can fire that two-day squeeze. That might want to kick off the run towards earnings. So my game plan is try to catch that push towards 430, 435-ish. At which point, I'll take my profits off the table. And for conversation's sake, if I make a 1000 bucks on that trade, I'm going to turn around and take you know 200 maybe 300 bucks of that profit. Then buy the 450 calls for the earnings expiration. Try to put myself in a position where the first trade can finance the second trade. And then from there, if they do want to fire that squeeze, you keep on making a little bit more. And then we'll take a look here at Netflix. Another good-looking daily squeeze. And you've got one on your 30-minute and your 4-hour. So that looks good for a push towards 650. And then I'll give you one more pick here. This one's a little bit more off the beaten path. ELV. Now, the options might be a little bit thin. But as far as a multi-squeeze setup, this one's really clean. There's a big monthly squeeze. There's a 2-day squeeze. A daily, a 4-hour, a 1-hour, a 30, and the 15. And as far as that daily squeeze goes, everything's about as perfect as possible. Above that trailing stop, structure is bullish, the squeeze is bullish, the signals are bullish. Got a big 3 score of 12 out of 12, which makes for an A-plus setup. Now, the one thing you might want to do, um, you know, to kind of capture the spirit of it all, Maybe keep your focus on that 4-hour squeeze in the S&Ps and the QQQ. 
they fire along. I think your Microsofts, your Netflixes, the Amazons. Um, we'll take a look here at NVIDIA real quick. If the squeezes in the indices can fire to the upside, pretty good chance the squeezes in the stocks, they should do the same thing. You got Netflix here, or NVIDIA rather. All right, little pullback to our 21 EMA. Pretty good hold of that trailing stop. Good structure, good signals. 12 out of 12. And the party started here for NVIDIA. And we're up about another four bucks here in the after hours. The party starter might be that four hour slingshot squeeze. So take your pick. Got a lot of squeezes to work with. Got a really bullish market. And like I said towards the beginning of the video, we might be a bit overbought. Um, you know, we could be at two and a half, three ATR on the monthly chart. When they get a fresh squeeze setting up, do not fight the squeeze. But all right, folks, as always, thank you for watching. And before you go, let's get a little engagement going here. Let me know down in the comments who's going to win the uh, the March Madness tournament. Give me one pick. I'm going to go with UConn. But as always, thank you for watching. Have a great night. If you haven't already, click that like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Adios.